resume, who's some of the main challenges and opportunities you see ahead for Orphan Drugs right now? So the challenges and opportunities within rare diseases that we face within industry, not only a large pharma but also small biotech, is how to best collaborate and find those patients and get them recruited. I speak from a clinical development perspective, others will speak from other types of perspectives. But it, we need to have the right appropriate model to engage the patients, to find them all throughout the development, get the appropriate model that within the compliance and constraints of regula regulators um, and the environment of, of you know, multi-centers across various countries, how do we do that in the most efficient way that would cost us least amount of dollars and most uh, uh, benefits for the patients? We also need to tackle the issue of risk benefit um, and make sure that it is addressed appropriately for patients with uh, for diseases with small patient population in order to get um, the um, the value for the shareholders within our organization uh, back to the to them and also keeping the patients in mind so we really need to be patient centric rather than uh, just a, a traditional drug development for a common disease. Great. And maybe some of the opportunities that you see right now or things that have improved in recent years? Sure. So some of the opportunities that we observe these days is the plethora of data that is coming from the natural history perspective. You pick a disease and there's a lots of organizations um, organized around developing that type of data, collaborating with biotechs. It's, there's a, um, a, a new form of um, collaboration. You know, I would call it coalition. My CMO called it this morning meta collaboration. It's, a, it's the union of various groups that are willing to come together to put that perspective into place. So that's really exciting. And also the technologies and the advancements and how we identify the biomarkers. That's another great area of interest. So we're excited about what comes ahead. And so why did Pfizer choose to be involved in this conference and how are you finding it so far? Well, Pfizer has been involved in the conference for the past couple of years and this is our you know, biggest event. We, we recognize this is the biggest event for um, rare disorders within the industry uh, and um, it it's brings together the best of the best within the organizations, patients advocacy, uh, small biotech companies and, and pharma all together, as well as policy makers and, and people from capital. So we're really excited to be here and contribute to this conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pleasure.